hello everyone so here we'll see how this on generate routes or generate routes works actually which is coming from main.dart if you see over here that at main.dart we have on generate route property now it takes a function and this is our function right so this is the function actually that redirects our route to different pages and screen and how to work with this and how it has to do with this boarding screen now I can show you using some examples now over here we know that this on generate route or generate route settings this function gets called when you click on a certain route but at the same time when you boot up your app first time this callback function generate route setting which is coming from on generate over here it still gets called so first time it gets called and we can prove that now over here we know that well first time when it boots up this is not going to be empty because it can find the route automatically on its own so over here we can print a log over here and here we'd say say first log it doesn't matter you can write it anything and then over here we can also write print second log All right okay that one now of course this time I don't want to redirect to any places so I just want to comment it out and here I'm going to restart this app so that we know what's happening so let's restart this app so when we restart the app actually we are not clicking on any navigation object and we do see that over here first log that's get printed but we know that at the same time over here we can also print a log about our route name so how to get our route name so we could do it from result dot first dot route so this is how we get our first route name right so let's go go over here and uh, hot reload or restart your app and here you see first we say okay first log which is this one and then this is our first route now our first route is a slash so with this we now with this we understand that this method gets called anyway first time when you boot up your app it has nothing to do with clicking on a route so it gets called directly so this is the right place where from where actually we can navigate to different places so over here we know that this is our initial route and initial route actually equals to the slash which is home route or initial route so over here this one and this one they're actually the same thing so you remember that when we click on this of course when we come to the third slide actually we click on a route object we know that and that is coming from our welcome to dart over here of course here I have some log over here minus one zero it doesn't matter just to remember what happens so over here if I click on this definitely first we'll see minus one and then it'll try to remember that device has been opened so over here we'll have this uh, storage device open first time it'll set it to true right and then I want to click on this so it will go to a new route which is sign-in route but before it goes to sign-in route actually it would set this key this variable to true right so when you come over here next time over here we can get this device which is this one get this device key which is the same as the one that we set in our welcome route they're the same thing as they're the same thing in pages dot dart over here inside this generate route settings we'd be able to grab that value and check it so next time when you open our app definitely this would return true and at the same time because we open our app again so they would still be in initial route so this two condition would become true if this two condition becomes a true actually over here we could do a uh, redirect or go anywhere we want okay and this is possible now of course this time we are going to redirect to a sign-in page okay all right now let's save it now of course we are still in the very first phase so we are here in sign-in page but this time actually the value has been saved so now I mean value has been saved what value has been saved the value for this key which is a true this has been saved now if this has been saved then now I'm gonna restart my app again we'll see that welcome boarding or onboarding screen page has gone it's not there anymore you see we are still on sign-in page and beautiful and this is what we wanted and for this we have worked so far and so hard so generate route setting functions which is a callback function for on generate route is a great place to redirect your routes or pages 
So here you can put a lot of condition and based on the condition actually you could redirect your app to different pages and that's awesome. But now here's one thing. So I can I can do one thing. Now I'm gonna do over here login and uh, let's go ahead and do that and we know that we can log in. Now over here if I log in definitely I'll go to home page right and this is what we have worked before and we know but there is another problem now if I restore my app it still takes me to this login page and which is not good because you have already logged in in general app should remember that you have already logged in so it should take you to the home page or application page the page we have seen just now so in next section we'll work on how to show and how to do this mechanism that app should remember that you have logged in